Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello and welcome to the Pop Turnative Podcast. This is the podcast where we have digital discussions, the worlds of hockey, sports, social media, pop culture, TV, film, everything really as always. I'm your host, Pierre Miliotis, and on Twitter, you know me as PD Beats, and it's that time of year, it's World Junior Hockey time. The World Junior Hockey Championship kicks off on Boxing Day. It's an event that hockey fans um, and players have circled their calendars for many years. We're speaking to returning guests who is going to have an impact, who's looking to have an impact in that tournament this year. We're speaking to an Edmonton Oilers prospect from Sweden. Philip Broberg is back on the show. Philip, welcome back to the show, man. Thank you. Three times. You've been on the show three times. Do I have to get you like a hat or a mug now or something? Because <laughs> you've been on three times. Yeah, for sure. It's uh, always fun to be on this show. So it's just fun. Absolutely. Um, you got a chance to play in this tournament last year as a younger player. You have an opportunity this year um, to play on a team that looks like it's going to have a lot of depth with Sweden, and you're going to have um, an opportunity to have a bigger, big role on that team. Talk a little bit about that transition from being on the team as a young guy last year, and then one year later, and you're looking to have a big uh, role on the team this year, Philip. Yeah, for sure. Last year, I uh, came in in the group uh, as a... Uh a little bit surprised and I think uh, I played pretty well I didn't have the big minutes uh, but I think I helped the team in that way I could that tournament uh, but uh, we didn't get uh, through the quarterfinals but uh, this year we had a, have a really good group of guys really good players and uh, I think we I think we can take the next step and hopefully come home with uh, the gold See, Sweden didn't get the gold in the World Junior Hockey Championship, but they did. you guys did get the gold in the U18s. Yes. And that was an amazing tournament for that whole team and for yourself. How are you going to be able to take that momentum into this year's tournament for the U20, Philip? Yeah, I think uh, all the guys that was on that team felt uh, like the chemistry we had uh, as a team and uh, everybody was supporting each other, so... I think we're going to have that chemistry with us into this tournament and have faith in ourselves. So I think that's a big part of us uh, to have confidence. You mentioned it the first time you came on this show. The World Juniors in Sweden is just as big as the Olympics. It's a big deal. Why do you think that tournament has become so popular, in your opinion? Uh, probably because it's like the best junior tournament you can play. And often some people say that juniors is more fun to watch because it's more forth and back, uh, and more mistakes, more goals. And uh, I think that it's probably that thing. Uh, and like, like you said, it's a lot of good prospects and good guys on the tournament. So it's just going to be a really fun tournament to play. Moving a little bit away from the World Junior Hockey Championship, you were drafted uh, in the first round by the Edmonton Oilers, signed your entry-level contract. You are currently playing in Sweden right now. Talk a little bit about the decision made by yourself and the Edmonton Oilers for you to play in Sweden um, this season. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, it came, uh, didn't came as a big surprise that I was going back to Sweden. I think I had a good year in LK in the Pro League, and I think... I needed to take one more year in the Swedish Elite League and play against men, uh, practice against men, and uh, just adopt my game to a more professional level, uh, not the junior level. Uh, so I think this has been a really good, good uh, start for the season for me, and I'm just trying to develop as fast as, as uh, and as good as I can. No, absolutely. Um... It's it's a holiday tradition, you know, the World Juniors. Do you remember kind of watching that tournament uh, when you were younger with your family as well and, and rooting for Sweden? Was that a big part of your holiday tradition over there? Or Yeah, for sure. Like uh, when I was younger, I always watched that tournament with my young, younger brother and the family as well. So I think uh, I watched the tournament since I can remember and uh, now I'm going to get to play it for the second time. So it's just going to be... Uh, I'm just really proud to uh, represent Sweden, and it's just going to be fun. 
Hockey is very big in Canada. You know this. The World Juniors is very big in Canada. You also know this. You know that TSN, yeah. who is the national broadcaster for the tournament, that does a very good job. You know, they tweet, they posted when the Sweden um, selection, like the roster was was posted, right? They mentioned that uh, Philip Broberg, you know, and the rest of the Sweden team been has been announced, right? So you were kind of highlighted in that. What do you, how do you kind of deal with situations like that where there's a lot of hype and a lot of expectations when people are saying that, you know, Philip Broberg is going to have a very good tournament? There's a, like, do you see that as like, do you, do you, do you, does that like, does that help your confidence? Like, talk a little bit about that because there's a lot of hype around you in this tournament. Yeah, like, um, obviously, always fun to have uh, a lot of hype around uh, you, but uh, I don't think I think about it too much. I'm just focused on winning as much games as we can and uh, get this group, that group of guys that we have to this tournament and as tight as we can and uh, that we trust each other um, at game day. So I think it's just going to be a really fun tournament for me and all the other guys and... Uh, Hopefully, like I said, uh, our goal is to win the gold. Every year, there's a focal point of something in the tournament. There's always a standout player. But every year, Philip, the goaltending is always talked about. And goaltending kind of stands out. And you look at some of the teams that are not in your pool, but in the other pool of like USA and Russia, who have two goalies with Spencer Knight and Askarov, from Russia, who's going to get drafted this year, who everyone's talking about. I mean, does that kind of just show how amazing hockey development has been and how good this tournament is that you have, like, right off the bat, like, some of the best goalies out there that, like, next year might have an opportunity to play pro and they're in this tournament this year? It's crazy. Yeah, for sure. Like, uh, it's going to be a lot of good prospects that are going to have the opportunity to play, play in the NHL next year. And, uh, it's, that, that's probably why this tournament is so uh, well known and well respected and uh, like it's going to be just a fun tournament to play against all the other good prospects Edmonton Oilers are a team that you know a lot of people are talking about because they have two of the best players in the world right now in Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl you have kind of this opportunity to kind of come into the organization learn from those players but also provide um help on the blue line defensively which is why they drafted you have you ever th have you thought about how you were how you're going to kind of fit in with the Edmonton Oilers and kind of go in there and learn as much as you can from players like McDavid and Drysaddle yeah for sure for sure you you always want to work, learn from uh, the best guys in the league and uh, those guys are for sure in the top but if not the best uh, so like i just want to play my game and uh, help the team uh, in any way I can to win with the most hockey games. So, and obviously the more routine guys can help me do that, like those guys, and uh, you speed up the developing. Last sure. time I had you on the show, I asked you about defensemen you modeled your game after. You talked about Victor Hedman. Now I'm asking you right now, in your opinion, who is not just defenseman, it could be a forward, who do you think is one of the best um, Swedish players in the National Hockey League right now, Philip. Who's like the bet? Who's the player that everyone's talking about right now? Like the is it is it Yeah. Um. Well. Well, in the NHL, like who who are people who who do you think is the best player from Sweden in the NHL right now? In your opinion, oh. and it, it doesn't have to be a defenseman. No. Uh, in my mind, I would say it's Victor Hedman. For sure. <laughs> you, went, uh, <laughs> you you said that last time. Yeah, but like I I, I still think so. I I saw that he came in the old decade team decade in yeah. the NHL, and I think uh, like as well as he can play in both sides of the puck and and in both zones, I think is uh, well deserved to be there. And uh, I think he's the best Swedish player right now in the NHL. You know, people that have watched the show before and seen you in interviews, it's no surprise you come off as a very, you know, like humble, nice guy and there's, and someone that could be a good leader in the room, kind of like Victor Hedman, like you talked about. In, 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 like, how important is it to be 
like a nice guy it as a professional like a professional hockey player philip you know what i mean because i don't think people talk yeah. about that all the time because you guys are very busy and you guys are training and focusing on the task at hand but like i have a lot of athletes on this show you know like and i talk to them and you know how important is it to kind of be that leader and that nice guy on and off the ice yeah for sure it's always uh important to be a nice guy off the ice be humble and be well respected uh, against your team and respect the team as, as you uh, yourself want to be respected and uh, I think it's, uh, that's really important in the team uh, that uh, you respect each other and uh, you uh, trust each other and uh, you want to develop as a group together and mm-hmm. uh, I think uh, if I can be that leader I, I want to be that leader and mm-hmm. I think uh, every player is their own leader no, for in sure. some way no, absolutely. Can- um, Canada is always a focal point in the World Junior Hockey Championship. This is a team that S- Canada and Sweden have, have had some amazing games throughout the year, and it has become a rivalry. I don't know if it's as big as a rivalry as Canada Russia or Canada USA, but there's been some big games there. To- um, yeah. and-, and Canada um, got the news that Joe Valeno is going to be loaned by uh, the D- Detroit Red Wings, and Barrett Hayton's coming over from Arizona. And you know, we're still hearing we're still hearing about what's happening with other players from the NHL for other, you know, uh, countries like Sweden and other countries. But talk a little bit about, um, you know, Canada's always a team uh, that everyone, all, all other teams are kind of keeping an eye on, right? Have you guys kind of talked a little bit about what Canada's going to kind of look like this year? Yeah, I've seen their team and their roster, and it's for sure – Canada is always a good team, and uh, it's a team you want to beat uh, if if you want to have a chance to win the gold in the end. And uh, yeah, they're always good, like like you say in Russia, and it's a lot of good countries uh, with good teams this year, and it, it's going to be a fun tournament to play, like I said, and uh, it's going to be a tight one as well. What does Sweden need to do? to win the gold medal in your opinion? I know it's kind of hard for you to answer because you haven't kind of gone over there and met the team yet, but like, what what do you, what are kind of things that you need to do to win a tournament like this, Philip? Yeah, I think uh, the most important thing is to get together as a group and uh, understand each other's roles in the, in the team because every player is going to have their own role and you can't uh, overtake and like the roles you you want to be the MVP on the, every role in the team and uh, I think that's the biggest and most important message for this short tournament uh, that uh, everybody's accepting their role and uh, doing the best in that role that's interesting that you mentioned that right now Philip short it is a short tournament and it's one of those things where you know a couple of bad bounces and mistakes can cost you the tournament cost you your group right does that kind of add to the yeah. excitement of the world Junior hockey championship as well because it's so short yeah for sure like it's a short tournament like one mistake one game can messed up the whole tournament and uh, I think uh, we had a bad game last year against Switzerland and we went out in the quarterfinals and I know I know Canada went out as well in the quarterfinal against Finland and uh, those those little mistakes can change the whole tournament and uh, yeah it's uh, it's a little bit frustrating but it's uh, that that's always fun thing too and it's funny because you played on the team last year as a younger player, and you're and but like the players that are going to be in this tournament, there's going to be some returning, but there's going to be a lot. Like the players that they're talking about who are going to make an impact are new players and everything, and it's a whole different tournament. So it's kind of hard. Like I'm sure you could take some of the things from last year um, and help this year, but it will be a different tournament because there's a lot of different players at different focal points as well, right? Yeah, for sure. It's uh, it's a big guys as well in Czech. Yeah, so it's going to be more adjusting for the USA players and the Canadians as well. And uh, I think, uh, yeah, it's a different tournament uh, than it was in Vancouver. And it's going to be a re- really good one. I hope it's going to be a good crowd as well. And uh, I'm just looking forward for it. Hopefully a lot of Swedish uh, fans in the crowd. Because you know how like the, Swe- the Swedish fans, they love their hockey. They love their World Juniors, man. Yeah, for sure. It's uh, hopefully a lot of Swedes are going to fly down to check in. Absolutely. Looking, uh, you know, 2020 is around the corner. It's a new year. What are some goals for Philip Broberg in 2020? 
Yeah, first off, uh, like I said, we want to win the gold in the World Juniors. Uh, that's the first thing. And after that, I just want to keep working hard with the Shell after AK and uh, get up in the league. Um, in the hopefully top three st- spots in the, the league for Shalafio and uh, after that we is going to make a push in the playoffs and see what's going to happen absolutely and it, uh, you know a lot of people are kind of a lot of players are kind of scouted when they're over there and waiting to get their entry level contract you got you, you got your entry level contract pretty quick that must have been kind of a, a good weight off the shoulders a little bit right yeah, for sure. It's uh, always a dream come true to uh, sign your first and sell contract. And uh, hopefully I'm going to sign a couple more in the, my career. And uh, I'm just working hard for the next one. Absolutely. Well, Philip, thank you so much for coming on the show. And seriously, man, all the best in the World Juniors. It's a tour. Everyone's going to be watching. It's an exciting time. And just uh, I wish you I wish you and Sweden all the best in the tournament, man. Thank you, man. No, absolutely. And thank you so much for coming out back on the show. And uh, yeah, I feel like I have to get you something because you're a three-time <laughs> guest now, man. <laughs> yeah, no problem, man. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, this has been Popternative, youtube.com slash Popternative for previous episodes. Until next time, this is Philip Roberg and Petey Beats signing off. Enjoy the World Juniors, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to Popternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.